Hi, everybody. This is my favorite part of our show. Here's where I get to share what God has placed upon my heart about our verse. Again, all month long, we've been talking about Colossians 3.12. Let me read it to you. It says this, Colossians 3.12. Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Now, we've been talking about compassion and kindness a lot, but today I want to talk to you about humility. I want to talk to you about gentleness. I want to talk to you about patience. See, those three words, those three parts of our verse really affect the people. Well, all of them do. But today, I want to show you what happens when we don't put those into practice. I have a balloon here, and it's, you might notice I have a, it's a double balloon. I have this clear balloon, and this represents uh, somebody, maybe you, or maybe a friend. And inside is that heart. Now, again, this heart is not their blood pumping muscle. This heart is where they keep all their emotions. You know how we talked about, I love you with all my heart yeah that's what this particular heart is and today here's what I want to do I want to show you what happens when we don't use these things properly maybe when you push somebody down to lift yourself up maybe when you see someone fall and instead of helping them you laugh at them or maybe you push somebody out of the way because they're taking too long. See, all of those require us using humility, gentleness, and, and patience. Let me show you what happens. Michelle, can you come over here and help me out here? I'm going to get you to hold that for me. All right. Thank you, Michelle. I have here this little needle. I don't know if you could see it there. But I want to show you what happens when we don't use humility, gentleness, or patience. Maybe when we push someone down and maybe use our words to make someone feel bad about themselves, to lift ourselves up. How many of you know kids who do that, you know? Or how about when that one child falls and gets hurt and everyone's laughing at them and instead of helping them, Maybe you laugh too. Or maybe when you're standing in a line and there's a kid in front of you, maybe they're taking too long and you shove them out of the way. Let me show you what happens when we're not careful. And I'm gonna show you, watch what happens. Did you see that? Did you see what happened right there? Can you let go, Michelle? What happened to the little heart? Did you see that? Those words, those actions came in and damaged that spirit. That's a, a broken heart. And you know how many kids from a broken heart have gone home and wanted to do that because of a, a broken heart? And because we decided to use our words to make us feel good? And someone else feel bad? Maybe our actions to make us feel good and someone bad? That's not what God has for us. See, God wants us to use the gifts he gave us to build each other up. Like this. Look, let me show you. Watch. I have this balloon here. God wants us to use who we are as his people. It says here, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, he wants us to use our gifts. Watch this. Watch what happens. This is how we can be used by God to, to pour into someone around us. Maybe a friend at school. Maybe someone around us. Watch this very, very carefully. See, God wants us to use who we are. Like our Bible verse says, Colossians 3.12, Therefore, as God's chosen people holy and dearly loved he wants us to use those gifts those abilities to build people up not knock them down we can pour into somebody we can pour into our friends and it's like what i look what look what i'm doing here let me show you
when you decide to do that, when you use your words to build someone up, you show them who God is by your actions. Jesus said, no one has ever seen God, but if we love one another, God is made real in us. So when you're using humility, gentleness, and patience, you remember, humility is lifting someone up. Sometimes that means you lower yourself a little bit to help them come up. Gentleness, when you see someone fall, you go and lovingly help them get up. And patience, sometimes patience means we wait our turn. We wait, maybe even allowing someone to go ahead of us when we're patient. When we're patient, we're not crying when we don't get what we want right then and there. I mean, I've seen a child when they want them and they start fussing because they don't get it. But when we do that, we can really help someone develop into what God designed them to be. God can use us to help someone become something beautiful. Isn't that awesome? Let's look at our verse one more time. Colossians 3.12 Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. When we do that, we're something beautiful. And when we do that, it affects the people around us and we help them become something beautiful too.